Uh, actually, I started virtual bolsani. I'm in Canada, and first of all, thanks a lot for providing so much uh, information and knowledge. Uh, I'm in Canada. I'm doing a uh, wholesaling and investing here in Canada. I quit my job. I was uh, driving long haul truck driving. Uh, like I came to US many times, and uh, I do. Uh, uh, now I started virtual wholesaling. I picked Memphis market because uh, after that I want to do investing also. I uh, pulled all the list from the prop stream, and uh, I cold call all of them. Total, uh, like all the list and total numbers or contact. Total leads were seven thousand six hundred and fifty-five, and after that, I uh, I just got one lead, and that uh, house is like a tree is fell on the house, and that's why uh, it's just a lead. I'm not gonna make too much money. I'm following up with that seller, and uh, now I'm text blasting all the all the list that I have, and I already pulled all the list from the prop stream. Now what I'm doing, I'm pulling, uh, I'm making that list from the, uh, you know, county, uh, the people who are behind on taxes. I'm yes. right now making that list. So what I do next? Because once I got this list done. I'm gonna skip trace. I'm gonna cold call. After that, I'm gonna do uh, text blasting. And if I didn't got any lead, any deal from there, what I do next? Like I wanna keep on taking action. Okay, that initial list you pulled a prop. What list was it? I uh, from prop stream. First, I started with bacon houses and tired landlords in Memphis. In Memphis. Okay, did you do the filters at freeholding.com we show you how to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched uh, like uh, all your videos from freeholding uh freeholding.com. Okay. And do cuz I uh, applied filter according to uh, like as you told me uh in the videos, right? And uh like uh, the results uh, the total leads that I got, right? from all the list first i started with vacant houses and tire landlord and then i skip traced and uh, then i cold call them let's and let's break down this Canada. list all right man so like i'm just trying to figure this out so what was the year of ownership on that list year of ownership i applied 5 5 years okay yeah okay and what was the skip tracing i started with bad skip tracing Okay, he's batch. Yeah. And then, uh, so how many calls did you do? Like I called all of them. How many? Total was total is seven thousand six hundred and fifty-five. Seven thousand. All right. Like, how many total. contacts from that seven thousand? Uh, what do you mean, like uh, by contacts? So how many hellos did you get? Like, hey, I talked to you. I asked you if you're the owner. Are you interested? Okay, for that I think I need to go into the reports in the uh, in the ready mode in the Zen call, right? You're gonna have to, yeah, you, you got to figure it out. Because okay. I, I'm just, if, I mean, you're asking me number like questions for it, so I got I gotta get answers. Like, did you have like a? I'm trying to figure out if you had like a 10 percent contact rate or like a 30 to 40 or even like a two percent, right? Because like these are all stuff I have to figure out if it's the list that's the problem. Is it the servicing that you have? Is it ready mode that's the problem? Is it the script? I I, I can't really answer this question unless I, I, I just need data from it, right? So okay. let's just leave the contact rate blank here. I'm just trying to figure this out. And what script did you use? Skip tracing is uh, bad. Script. Skip tracing and cold calling is uh, ready script. mode. Script. Script? Okay. Uh, I use your script. Uh, like if somebody uh, uh, picked the call, then uh, start with uh, like hello, and then uh, is this is what's whatever the like seller name is John. Is this is John? And if says so, yeah, sometimes like here in Canada, like cold calling doesn't work because we don't have like list. We just blast or do I, door knocking. Yeah, I know yeah. Canadian whole something works. So what did you? Yeah. What script was it that you used, though? Like walk me through the script. They say hello. What okay. do you say? 
yeah uh, hello uh, is this is john if they, if they, they say yes uh, this is lp i'm here from i just say just to make it uh, local i'm here from memphis and uh, looking to buy a couple of properties in the neighborhood and this is how i go and you know what like my accent is little obviously i came from india as an international student and my accent is a uh, little you can understand that and uh, they hang up really quickly oh no they don't hang up cuz your accent dude so this is why i i try to go through this entire process to figure out what's wrong you have two massive issues right here like massive okay. issues and this is why your your results probably didn't work out okay so let me write down these massive issues just so we can visualize this all right number one the most okay. important part you have a bad script you do not use the Zach script. All right. That was a bad script. Number one. All right. I've never taught anyone to say I'm looking to buy your house off the straight up. Like that will get you hung up every single time. So okay. that is not a Zach script. Okay. Okay. But I That's number one. download it. Okay. You downloaded it. Did you go through the free? You don't download the script. The script on the third day wholesaling challenge and on the cold calling modules is two things. Are you the okay, owner or are you just uh, on the property? Uh, actually, uh, in the uh, I watched your video and uh, you said uh, when uh, you are calling to uh, that video was pro probate list. And when you are calling to somebody, you're going to say because the uh, LP, are you saying that you know my script better than me? Oh, sorry. I would love to. I, I don't want it. Even the most recent cold calling tutorial on the third day wholesaling challenge. I mean, if you, I will bring it up right now if you really want me to, but I, I just, let's go through the third day wholesaling challenge. Just do cold calling, cold calling a flip a trick. Go through this real quick. All right. Let's see this one. Okay. Here we are. We are right here. Let's break it down. Let's go through the script, buddy. All right. Here we go. All right. So this is three months ago. When did you call this list? About a week ago. Okay. So here we are, the ultimate step-by-step -step cold calling guy. Step okay. one, are you the owner of address? No. Sure. Step two, okay, I'm are you interested in selling that property? Where on this tutorial does it say I'm looking to buy houses? Are you the owner? And are you interested? Um, Where does it say I buy houses on this? Uh, 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 to be honest, I didn't watch this video. That video was for the probate and I kind of picked Where's that. Is this a probate script? list? Uh, I got it now. No. Sorry, I... You gotta go through freeholding.com. All right, let, let's let's. I, I don't want to harp on you on this. I'm just letting you know. That's Thank number you. one why it didn't work, and we can okay. debate it all the time. But number one's bad script. Number two is you okay. have a severe confidence problem. Okay, you have a severe confidence problem, and your confidence problem arises from you thinking that an accent's going to affect your results, and your confidence your accent doesn't. Do jack squat with your results, but you thinking your accent's affecting you subconsciously makes you sound subconsciously you're not confident, which people can sense the non confidence over the accent all day. Okay, there are immigrants with way thicker accents than you that don't eat like barely know English that make millions of dollars in wholesaling and as a realtor, anything. Ben, they have thicker accents than you because they have confidence. They don't have a confidence problem. They don't. And they have a really good script. So it's not the accent. It is the script and the confidence issue. That is the main reason why. So you're, at, you're coming to me. You're saying this is an important question. I just want you to know why it's not working. Okay. Okay. So let's kind of fix this. Like we, we can go cry all day about it, but let, let's, just, let's just do a solution, right? Let's make this yes. green for money, right? Number one, we are going to use 
we're, we're going to use the two um, we're going to use the two two step script. Okay. So we're going to do uh, we're going to do three things. Three things. All right. Screw it. We're going to do two, okay. three things. All right. Number one, we're going to do a we're going to use the two two step script. Okay. Okay. What's the two step script? Okay. Do you know what the two step script is? Two step script? Yes. Step one, are you the owner of the property? Step two, are you interested in selling that property? And, okay. Go to freeholsing.com for it. Number two, we are going to be confident. Okay. Okay. What does that mean? Nobody cares about your accent. Okay. I'm literally okay. speaking to you in English. I understand you perfectly. Okay. Like we're, we're, we're not having a communication problem. All right. So yeah. your accent doesn't mean anything. All right. Okay. Okay. The previous, uh, the first lady of the United States in the last administration had an accent. No one cared. Okay. Like nobody cared about her accent. All right. So you can be in the white house and have an accent. All right. Like it doesn't matter. Okay. So it's, okay. it's not, okay. That, that's not a problem. All right. Number three, most importantly, this is going to be key to you. Okay. We're going to go after more motivated lists. We are okay. not going to call 7,000 lists and then say we have a problem after we call 7,000. That's, that, that's like a ridiculous amount. All right. That's, that's like ridiculous. We are not going to go after 7,000. All right. We're going to be pulling. I think you already know what, 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 what's a really good cold calling list. What's the really good call, cold calling list, uh, script. Okay. List. Uh, what's a really good cold Probate. calling list? Probate. Uh, as you, yeah. Tell me what other ones. Uh, the second one is pre for closer. Pre for no, not closer. for calling. Not for calling. Uh, well, let's do it the together. Second. Code violations. Code violation, yeah. Basically, like, I, I can sum it up. Just government lists, right? Yeah. So, we, we at most, at most, a thousand would be, like, the most you'd have to call, right? So, that is 6,000 less calls. 6,000 less calls we have to do yeah. with a better script, you're going to be fine. All right? Okay. Like, it's it's not rocket science, right? We, we're going to add the water shutoffs. You can add leans. I mean, there's, I mean, think of all the lists you can possibly pull, right? They're all yeah, there. Yeah, list taking. You don't have to know. You just... you. you, you you add that, and then you call that list. You add this, you call that list, right? There's so many. You can do this Fizbo's if you really want. If you really, I'll call Memphis Fizbo's and close a forty thousand dollar deal tomorrow, right? Like I can do it. Like you can do it too. Like these are all lists you can start doing. So I think so many people get this really caught up. This is going to be your like your success formula right here. Okay, like you don't need to complicate this stuff. Okay. So yeah, I mean, you're asking me. This is the, like this is the stuff it takes to be successful. Um, I wish you hopped on here for your cold call. Like, hey Zach, I'm gonna start. Wait, you start. Wait, hold on. You said you called all these lists last week. Yeah, and that's because I'm seven thousand leads last week. Yeah, and that's the 7, thing. Uh, like, um, yeah, wow. yeah. Uh, that's the thing. I, I would love to, to know your shoot, contact because. Right? Yeah, I, here uh, is uh, my laptop, and that's the thing uh, leads here. And this is because I'm new to cold calling and new to these softwares. And I like when I pull the let's say I pull the vacant houses list from the prop stream, and I skip traced, and then I upload it here in the ready mode, and I uh, like hit the ready button. And whoever answering, like I'm um, uh, having a conversation with them, and uh, nobody was like uh, ready to sell. Can okay. you see? This is, yeah. Yeah, I, I, no, I, all right. 
dude. Tell me what the con. Send me, email me over a screenshot. I'd like to see it. Okay. Okay. All right. But basically, what you're doing right now is you're asking me, "Hey, I didn't get a deal after a week. What's my issue?" And I told you, I, I told you the main issue, yeah. right? So obviously, you're not going to drop another what eight, nine hundred bucks on skip tracing for new leads, right? That's kind of ridiculous. I want you to get back to me. I loved. I per, like. I'm not saying this, but like I just want to know. How many con? How many pickups and you calls did you have? I feel like a lot of these people hung up because you weren't confident and you had a bad list. That's the truth. Um, and then we can add a more motivated list. I think you're going to be fine. So uh, I think that's all you needed to start doing, and then you can start getting a little better. Dude, it's those little tweaks that change everything. Uh, so yeah. And it, so I'll call these uh, same homeowners again. Sure, if you want. Right, because I, uh, as I choose Memphis market, right? So I already pulled all these lists. So obviously, uh, if I'm pulling them again, it will be same contacts, right? So I'm going to call this same list again, right? I want to know what your contact rate is. It it will be under reports, under the audit yeah, log. Send it to me. I just want to know because I want to see if. I've had Zen call issues. That's why I don't use Zen call anymore. So I, I don't want there to be any Zen call issues. And that could be another reason why it's not working, right? Like it's just not contacting. So, because are you, are you using a 12 line dialer probably? Uh, I dropped that to three. So I'm not, okay. I can't miss on any. 7,000 of the three lines a lot. So I personally find your contact rate and start using that. I think it's going to help you out a lot. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I contacted to their support and they said, uh, fix it at three. That will be good. Don't take it to 10. So I uh, just uh, put it at three. So for now, uh, uh, I'm going to, if you want, I can change uh, from Zencall to to another software. I think you I use think Best gonna... Idea, right? Dude, I don't think that's going to be the... The, the cure all for you, man. So let's let's change the script. And let's see if that moves okay. it. All right. I want to know what your contract rate is. All right. So let, let's let's do this really quick. All right. Let, let's just do a quick because I I want to I want to coach you on this call because I don't want you to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time with this. All right. Yeah. I just wrote this down. Really simple. All right. This is the script. This is it. Like I, this is. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna practice the script. All right. We're gonna practice this really quick, all right? Just so we don't get this too confused. So let let me hear you call me on this one, and then we're gonna get better at this, all right? And I want you to know: Do you think I care? I l let me ask you a question, LP. Do you think I care that you have an accent? Uh, no. No. Do you think it's gonna affect anything? Do you think no. I know millionaires in wholesaling that have thick accents? Like, uh, I, uh, you think I know this on my phone right now I, that I talk to on a regular basis? Do you think I do? I uh, do understand. And now I uh, got that in mind. It's like and a confidence you know that. problem. So you yeah. know for a fact that I don't think it's going to affect me. So I, since you now know that it will not affect me, I want you to go through the script right now. Mm -hmm. Have authority in your voice and confidence that exactly I know how to help you out. All mm -hmm. right. I want you to have the confidence, all right, that you need to be like, you need to have confidence on this. So let's go through the script right now. Okay. So, um, like, I'm the buyer. So I'm going to call You're and you will be me, the man. seller, right? Let's do it. Okay. 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 Hello. Are you Hello? the owner of 123 Main Street? All right. Let, let's Hello. do this one more time. You got to let me answer. Okay. Don't get too Thank aggressive you. with it. Let me answer, right? Tell me. Hello. Hello? Who is this? Are you the owner of 123 Main Street? Yes. Are you interested in selling your house? Possibly. Who is this? Yeah. This is LP here from Hometown Home Buyer. Okay. Um, uh, me and my partner, we're looking to buy a couple of properties. 
and uh, we saw your prop. Uh, that's the thing, because I don't have that script uh, right now. Can you can we Here start again? Uh, let, let me get, let me write to your script. All right. Do you know how to screenshot on your computer and stuff like that? Yeah. All right. So let's go through the script really quick. All right. This is really simple too. Okay. Like I just want you to go through this really quick and we can kind of break this up. All right. When you're talking to a seller, it is all about four things. All right. Go through freeholding.com. It's all in here. M yeah, condition motivation. So you know this, but you didn't do now you say you don't know the script, right? So when you're talking to me, why am I looking to sell the property, right? Can you tell me a little bit about the house? When do I want to sell it? And how much do I want to sell it for? Yeah. We have to focus that conversation on those four things. That's the script, man. Yeah. Nothing and actually, uh, I, I, uh, when I watch your videos, uh, I, I have like, uh, there are four main things, motivation, condition, timeline, and price. And now as I'm talking to you, I'm kind of nervous. So that's Why are you fine. nervous? What am I going to do? Am I going to say no, I don't want to sell my house and you lose the deal? There's no deal to be had here. Okay. We're just practicing. Yeah. Right, man? Yeah. So uh, now uh, I'll uh, come back to me and we can work on this next week. You need to get some practice. Um, you're on, you're on the right yeah, track. Yeah. Just got to understand what to say. You'll be fine. Yeah. And uh, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks a lot for the help. And uh, well, I'll go through uh, the script first. Then I will start cold calling. And uh, obviously I'm along with it. that. I'm, Sorry? I want you to go talk to me before you start doing some massive calling because I want to make sure you're doing it right. Okay? Okay. Got it. It's like I can yeah, tell you not to put diesel gas in your engine because it's a regular gas car. And then you do it anyway. And then you come back to me and say, why is my, my car didn't, my car's not going? And and then I'm like, well, why did you do that damage, right? I, I'm going to stop the damage before you do it. So hop back on. I want to help you out. And you'll be fine, mate. You got to practice this, dude. So just remember, and you're, like all you got to remember, you know, the two things, the two scripts, right? Are the owner and are you interested? And then MCTP. And then anything in between that, you got to kind of be natural on it, right? Like, hey, this LP, I'm looking to buy some properties for cash. That's what I do. Okay. You're adding too much like filler stuff with that original script. Use the script you got and you'll be fine, man. Got it. And people hang up really quickly because <laughs> most of them, they are it's like not sucks. interested in selling. Your script stinks. No, see, this is, you're getting in your head right now, man. Like this is the problem, dude. Okay. Like if I thought everyone hung up, I, I would, I, bro, like I would be doing no deals, right? It's, it's a confidence thing, man. You're having a confidence issue and I don't know how to solve this. You just have to start calling people because like, Call the Zillow for sale owners because they want to sell their property if you really want to get some confidence on. But like, if you are thinking right now that your accent's affecting your success, it's not. I promise you that. Okay? There's people thicker accents in wholesaling and make more money than me probably. I don't know any, but probably are. I know in real estate in general, oh yeah, hands down. Okay? So stop getting in your head, man. Got it. All right. That's all I can I'm tell you, man. Like, just, I, you're fine, yeah. man. You, you just got to calm down, follow the script, be confident, have some authority, and you're good to go. Okay. All right. Okay. And uh, I really appreciate uh, your time. Uh, can I ask one more question? Yeah. I have a question for you then after. Yeah. Where so for now, uh, uh, as I uh, like, I'm making that list of uh, tax uh, people who are behind on their tax, like tax lien from the county website. So keep on doing that and make that list and then skip trace it. Because uh, I thought like uh, I'm contacting less honor and I need to take more actions. Say that one more. Wait, say that one more time. Uh, like, I thought like I just got one lead and I need to take more actions. 
so what i now i'm doing i'm making a list from the county website for the people uh, who are behind on their taxes yes the tax delinquency list okay and uh, after uh, like uh, for an uh, after that i'm going to skip trace and i'm going to call and that's the thing i was thinking that i'm taking less action so i'm going to call call more contacts i'm like i'm going to call cold call or every day Dude, it's it's I would rather go after more motivated list than calling a bunch of people. And that's the honest truth, dude. Okay. That's it. Okay. Like I could spend 10 hours walking to my aunt's house or just go in my car and drive like 30 minutes. Like, Oh, but I spent more time doing traveling. No, it doesn't matter, dude. Okay. So you're in your head, man. Just know. Yeah. Your accent doesn't affect you. Is there anything like in your head that you think you can't do this? Because it's like, I, I don't know what I can bring up more stories of people who had no money and then got the first deal in a month and changed their life. Like, I can do more of that if you want, but like, I just, I'm trying to figure out what's the issue here. No, I really appreciate that. Uh, you got kind of uh, clarifying about the accent because I was thinking about the accent. So it's really about the confidence. Yeah, what's your uh, what's your name, LP? Um, uh, my full name is Love Pete Singh. LP is uh, just uh, so short form. Say it one more time. Love Preet Singh. Love, love Preet Singh? Singh. Yeah. Why don't you just tell people your yeah. name's Love? Make it short. Love. Oh, maybe. I think that oh, doesn't man. sound good. LP, do whatever you want, man. Love is an actual like people. It's a unique name. It's cool. Unique names are cool. Do you know who has a really unique name that's really cool? Drake. Uh, in, He's Canadian. In my country, like, yeah, it's very <laughs> common to have a name like, you know. Yeah. It's cool. No one really has a name Drake. Drake's kind of cool. Connie is a cool name, right? Like, unique names are fine, man. Okay. Think about it. Okay. Got it. Yeah. All right, man. For now, I'll focus on uh, script and uh, then because uh, of uh, calling a bunch of people, not going to make sense if I'm not confident. Confident? Work on it. You'll be fine. Okay. Okay, right. Jack. Uh, once again, really appreciate time and help. No worries, man. Keep it up. Thank you. Boom. All right. Next one. Ravon. What's up? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's up? How can I help you out? So uh, I recently got PropStream. Uh, and the problem I'm having is 